Good health today. New statistics out show dozens of kids are taken to the ER every hour. Dozens every hour after getting hurt on a bike, a scooter, or a skateboard. Dr. McGeorge is here with the one thing many of the kids aren't doing that really could help protect them. He joins us now. Well, Karen and Devin, you know, I have seen it over and over again. Kids enjoying a day of cycling or zipping around on a scooter, and then they have an accident and a trip to the ER becomes a part of their day. The thing that separates the kids that go home quickly from the ones that are seriously injured is often a simple helmet. A neighborhood sidewalk seems like a perfectly safe place for a girl to ride her scooter with one caveat. Concrete is concrete no matter where it is. A fall here is just as dangerous as a fall on a busy road, making helmets crucial. Safe Kids Worldwide surveyed 1,600 parents with kids between the age of 5 and 14. Nearly 40% said they don't always require their kids to wear a helmet when skating or riding bikes, scooters, or skateboards. And it's not a matter of, you know, if kids are going to fall, it's when they're going to fall. We want to make sure that when they do fall, they have protective gear on. The potential for injury is real. Safe Kids Worldwide says that in 2015, nearly 50 children an hour went to an emergency department after getting hurt on a skateboard, bike, or scooter. Some were head injuries, most were broken bones. Protective gear we recommend are knee pads, uh, elbow pads, wrist pads. Experts say parents can be good role models. In fact, 86% of moms and dads who wore helmets had kids who also adhered to the helmet rule. Now, more recently, scooters in particular have been a rising problem. And now, in general, parents should help kids wear helmets properly by making sure they don't wiggle around on the head and make sure that the chin strap is secure. Back to you.